Well, welcome back, everybody. It is Course Friday. Well, it, of course, may also be hard to fit in a, some exercise with quite a busy schedule. We're here to help find a way around that. Fitness guru, John Ashworth. John, thanks for coming in today. Sure thing. You know, um, I, I, I struggle with this a lot. I'm always, you know, sitting behind the desk, sitting up at the, you know, up upstairs in the newsroom. Not exactly too good, though. Right. No, I went, you know, and I went for an appointment somewhere yesterday, and it just struck me all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. People sitting all day long and of course I was doing a lot of office work today and I was doing the same thing. So too much sitting leads to not enough activity and weight gain and all those terrible things we're trying to avoid. Gotta get up. So how exactly do you get away around that in the office? Well what I did today is I came up with five quick and easy things. They don't seem like a lot each individual one but mm -hmm. five ways that you can burn more calories at work. So the first one is drink more water. Seems pretty simple. That's right. If you drink more water you can burn an extra, you can burn up an extra five pounds a year wow. actually. Yeah. So what you know? What else? Obviously, behind behind that, be drinking. Obviously, you drink more water. You can do that at your desk, but you're still right. sitting. So how right. do you get up and get active? So at least once a day, going out for a half an hour walk, you'll mm -hmm. burn 150 calories in a half an hour walk. And I total up those calories. It's equivalent to 41 pounds of fat per year. Now you're not going to lose 41 pounds of fat, but you're going to get at least a third of that going for you as, as you get going and walking every day. Well, this is something that I do quite a lot, but just in the morning, just because I have a lot of back problems, and that's stretching. Right. So yeah. like some good stretches to do while you're in the office. Right. So you wouldn't think about it, but stretching, that's going to help you recover from the walking and the stair climbing, the other things we have on the list. And it's going to get you up out of your chair and help your back pain and your stress and the other things that accumulate during the day. Now, good, like, strength training, too, you know, to keep fit. So you can actually do some strength training in right. the office. Right, right. Go, go ahead exactly. and show Exactly. So what I'm talking about is getting up and, and acting like the crazy person that I am every day and do some push-ups anywhere where you can find the room. And a good place is on a table about this size that I have in front of me here. If you can get your hands elevated up off the floor on your desk or something else sturdy, it makes a push-up a lot easier, and you can impress all your coworkers. It also makes it easier to do... A clapping push-up if wow. you want to add that in there. Right. You always right. should get Lee over here. She's our fitness guru that's in the right. uh, well, we're always station, trying, right? That's right. We're always trying we'll to get her to, her to do, do some of later. the exercise, but it's a little bit difficult. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> well, a lot of great tips. Thanks so much, John, for coming in. My pleasure. Wait, if you like to hey, read hey, John's blog and find five ways to burn more galleries at work, log on to our web channel. Click on these links. We'll be right back after the break.